Welcome to Monster Quads. Today we're going to show you the installation of the Speedex IS 30 amp 4-in-1 ESC. So I opened it up already. Um, she comes with um, with some 16 a uh, 16 uh, gauge wire that you can make a, a pigtail with for the ends. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make this nice and clean and beautiful. I am really excited because I really like the Speedex ESCs and I think this is going to save a lot so of weight. So I uh, put together this um, uh, uh, lipo pigtail. I like putting a little extra heat shrink because I've had instances where this rubs against you know some of the corners of the um, of the carbon fiber frame and cut into it. I am also so I'm going to come off the side. I like coming off the side because it's shorter, it's easier to deal with instead of coming out the back. I tend to have less issues when I come out the side. Um, so I'm going to come straight back and down. So uh, you notice I bent them kind of at a right angle so they'll, they'll sit perfectly nicely come out the edge. Hey, see how I did it? I uh, kind of held it in place, kind of let it mold, let the heat shrink and shrink uh, mold around the, um, the wire so I can form it the way I want to. So it sits perfectly in that position. Should be f work fine. Um, this is the um, the con this is the Conix VTX um, uh, supply. It's going to get raw uh, 4 s power um, because this does not have any other step downs. It does not have a step down for um, the VTX. There's a five volt here up front, which I'll show you, which is for the uh, the flight controller. Um, so make sure you have the right um, VTX, your video transmitter, or else you could blow something. Um, it comes with this little tiny capacitor, and I'm not going to, it's 330 um, versus 1,000, which I'm going to be using. I'll be using this larger one. Um, and there is a spot for it right here with, for your capacitor. So pretty neat. Um, feature. I'll be back with uh, some Okay, more this is how I recommend um, soldering the ESC wires, okay? Um, so this is my Revolt uh, flight controller, and it's going to sit this way. That's how it's going to be in its regular configuration. What you're going to do is plop it upside down like this and butt it up directly against it, okay? So what's going to happen is you're going to solder these signal wires directly to the, the the correct pad and then you know cut up to length exactly so now if you have to work on it what you're going to do is to close it up you're going to or, or to button it up um, after you finish soldering just fold it over and then tighten up and what's going to happen is none of these wires will be just the right length and if you had to work on it just know that you had to do it that way okay so you can work on your board um, and because it's connector it pulls right out pretty cool um, so you can have this connector anyway if you were going to have the connector off to the side then the flight controller for instance if if this connector is going to be on this side what you're going to do is put your board in place fold it back out solder the wires together and then fold it back in and be nice okay, and Okay, so it's all soldered in. Just remember the ESCs, the signal wires at least, and the, the power. Um, this connector has raw voltage all the way at the bottom, which I disconnected. And then there's 5 volt here, um, all the way at the top. Now remember that this is, uh, looks like 1, 2 motor, ESC motor 1, 2, 3, and 4. With the Revolt and the Kiss, it's a different configuration. Um, so make sure you do it appropriately. What I did was say, okay, this is number four. This should go to this one. And so I took the four, number four wire and I uh, connected to there. Um, so what happens at the end is you, have, you just push it like this. And you can just kind of shove these in place. But you can see it's nice and neat. And, um, and and perfectly set up. So um, hope that helps you. I'll be back with the. Um, I'll have to make extensions for my motors going to here, and I'll show you the final build. This is a Conix build, by the way. You know, so it's an HD uh, FPV rig. 
Right. Okay, so this is the finished finished product. This is your X Hover um, R5 HD with the Connex. You can see the Pro Sight there up top. That's just and the the camera. Of course, this is just taking raw voltage. Um, there is a on the four in one Speed X. There is a five amp step down that I showed you before, but I have have it hooked up to the raw voltage, and then of course the camera is running off the um vtx so um and, and that's the build she's nice and pretty um i made the extensions here i have a crossfire receiver here in the back and that is running the antenna up the side up the one arm she's a pretty build okay so i hope that helps you out um coming soon is a Pyro Flip RC Hyper Light or Hyper Floss build, and these this is going to be a five inch uh, ultra lightweight build. I'm waiting on some parts. Um, the idea is going to be um, that we're going to take a look at the disc loading theory that a lightweight quad is better than a quad like this. This is a 2207s that are relying purely on the thrust to weight ratios uh, to get a racing quad versus here we're going to try to get everything as light as possible and get a sub 200 5 inch quad so stay tuned we'll have that for you soon